This is the video about properties of 9 where I discuss digit sum and more. This is video number 5, part 2 of 3. I split the video in 3 parts. This is second part. In this part we discuss Vedic square, how to generate patterns using Vedic square and how to use Vedic square and digit sum to decide on divisibility by 3 by 6 or by 9. So in this video we will discuss about using Vedic square to compute the divisibility by 3, 6 and 9. Let's continue. Okay, let's continue the next section. It's about Vedic square. In this section we would study what Vedic square is, how do I get Vedic square and its properties and see what kind of patterns I can make using Vedic square. Okay, let's continue. Continue with uh, let's look at multiplication table. And here is a multiplication table we all have seen, and this is a I got this table from a teacher's manual. The first is counting by one, next is counting by twos, that's two, four, six, eight, ten, etc. etc. That's table of two. Two times one is two, two times two is four, two times three is six, and so on. This is a table of fives. Five times one is five. Five times two is ten. Five times three is fifteen. Five times four is twenty, and so on. And here, the, let's continue here. In this table, numbers do not repeat as many times. First, there is only one one. Okay, two happens twice, and three happens th twice. Four shows up once here and once here and once here okay and so on 81 happens only once 64 happens only once okay 56 happened twice once here and once here this is the main diagonal here from top left to bottom right and there is symmetry around this li uh, line here so two here and two here three here three four here four here the so 10 here and a 10 here okay and so so there's symmetry okay a symmetry about the main which is top left to bottom right diagonal. Let's continue. This is a Vedic square and I got this square of by replacing the entries in the multiplication table by their digit sums. Okay, so and this table also I got from a teacher's manual. Let's continue here. So the numbers have been replaced by their digit sums. Okay, let's continue here. In this table, numbers repeat more often. Let's see what's going I mean. One is here, one is here, one, 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 and one. There was only one happened, showed up only one in this column in the multiplication table. Okay. We still have symmetry. This, this is the main diagonal here. Okay. And this nine here and nine here, two and a two, six and a six. And this is the so it's a three and a three and a six and a six, three and a three. Okay, so there's still symmetry about the main diagonal. Okay, continue. Okay, let's start finding patterns in uh, Vedic square. Okay, let's try plotting a row four, eight, three, which is this row here, four, eight, three, seven, which I got from a force table, where was. 4 times four, 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, and digit sum of 12 is 3, and so on. So what would we do? So we we'll go from 4 to 8 to 3 to 7. So 3 is to the left of 4, then 7, then 2 is left of 3, then 6, then 1 is to the left of 1, then 5 and 9, and then after that is a 4. Okay, so by tracing on the... 9 point circle, this number 4, 8, 3, 7, 2, 6, 1, 5, 9, and 4, you have completed a 9 point star. Okay. okay. So you can do the same, do another star by following the next line here. So from 4, you go to 1, 5, start from 5, go to 1, go to 6, go to 2, go to 7, go to 3, go to 8, go to 4. And then go to 9 and come back to 5. So we have trace you would trace a 9 point star again by following this uh, using uh, the next line over here. Okay, let's continue here. And if you are interested in more patterns, teacher's manual has a more ideas on that. Okay. So 
If you are into drawing patterns, check out the teacher's manual and Okay, let's continue with next section. We would discuss the divisibility rules by 3, 6 and 9 and we will use a Vedic square to do that. Okay, let's continue. We'll look at the pattern for 3's table, which is this line here. It has number 3, 6, 9, 3, 6, 9. So that means it has number 3, 6, 9 and repeat. And this number line we came from multiplication table for 3's. Okay, that means a digit sum of 3, 6 and 9 means a number is divisible by 3. Okay. All these numbers are divisible by 3 because I got these digit sum from numbers which were multiple of a 3. Okay? Let's continue here. A number is divisible by 3 if and only if it is digit, digit sum is in 3, 6, 9. If digit sum is either 3 or 6 or 9, then that number is divisible by 3. Let's continue. So look at 6 table, which is this 6 line here, which starts 6 here. And now numbers are 6, 3, 9, 6, 3, 9. They repeat 6, 3, 9. Same 3 numbers, 3, 6, and 9 in different order. Okay? This row comes from 6's multiplication table. So these numbers, digits sum all came from multiplication table from of 6. And all the entries in the multiplication table for this row were multiple of 6 and were divisible by 6. So for a number to be divisible by 6, its digit sum has to be in 3, 6, 9 again, but it also has to be E1. Okay? The same digit sum are also in same 3's three, three table. So 3's table also has the same number, 3, 6, 9, 6, 3, 9. Okay? okay, let's continue here. A number is divisible by 6 if and only if it is divisible by both by 3 and a 2. If a number is E1, which is divisible by 2, and its digit sum is in 3, 6, 9, that number is divisible by 6. Let's look at the pattern for 9's table. 9's table is either the last column or the last row. Okay, let's continue. From the last row and last column, you notice that digit sum of 9 times m is 9. So this is a 1 times 9, and this is 9 times 1. This is from 9 times 2, 9 times 3, and this is 1, uh, 3 times 9, and this is from 4 times 9, okay, and so on. So this is a 9 here, last column, 9 here in last row, okay. And these numbers in this row, this column and this row in multiplication table were multiples of 9 and those were all divisible by 9. So this digit sum is from a number which was divisible by 9. Let's, a number is divisible by 9 if and only if its digit sum is 9. Okay, let's continue here. And magic. Any number multiplied by 9 becomes 9 in the digit sum sense. So let's see what I mean by here. This was 1 times 9 is 9, so we're 9 here. This thing was 2 times 9 was 18 here. 18 became 9 when we did digit sum. This thing was 3 times 9 was 27 was here, and digit sum is 9. Same here, 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 2 was 18, and digit sum is 9. 9 times 5 is 45, and digit sum is 9, okay? Any number multiplied by 9 becomes 9 in the digit sum sense. Okay? Let's restate those rules of divisibility. Divisibility by 3. A number is divisible by 3 if and only if its digit sum is in the 3, 6, 9 set. Either it's 3 or 6 or 9. If digit sum is either 3 or 6 or 9, that number is divisible by 3. Let's continue. Divisibility by 6. A number is divisible by 6 if and only if it's divisible by both 3 and 6. So that means its digit sum is 3, 6 or 9 in that set and also it is even number. Okay, let's continue here. Divisibility by 9. A number is divisible by 9 if and only if its digit sum is 9. So for 9 is the, the magic thing we talked about. Its digit sum is 9. That number is divisible by 9. 
examples of divisibility. Let's look at an example here. Is 3, 4, 7, 5, 8 divisible by 3, 6, and 9? Let's look up his digit sum uh, here. Okay? His digit sum is 3, 4, 7, 5, 8 is 9 and is even. So that means it's, it's uh, di divisible by 3, 6, and 9. It's, it's, and 3, 4, 7, 5, 8 is divisible by 3, 6, and 9. That's another example here. Is 9, 7, 1, 2, 7, 7 divisible by 3, 6, and 9. First of all, digit sum is of that number is 6 and number is odd here. That means it's divisible by only 3. By 3 and not by 6. And, and here the exercise is identify if the following numbers are divisible by 3, 6, and 9. Numbers are first number 9, 7, 1, 2, 7, 7. Next, 4, 7, 9, 6, 1, 8. Next. 7-8-5-4-8-2, next, 5-0-2-7-7-1, and some more. Okay, teacher manual is my main reference, and here you can find ideas for more patterns from Vedic square, and also can find problems for checking the results using digit sum. Dirsaji does not have a section on digit sum, and I have not seen uh, digit sum being used in the book. Okay? Both Glover and Vanna Single call this digit sum a by use the term digital root. Uh, Bhatia writes books on competitions. That means he uh, is very good at multiple choice problems. And he is keen on using digit sum to eliminate some of the options. 